Hey folks, okay, we're gonna finish this off today. Hopefully we'll see what we get. So uh, last time we were looking at the point where the bad guy, let's just remind ourselves, if the bad guy, uh, if the ninja guy hits enter and he is not two spaces away, then this is what we're going to do. So is that where we were? Let's just remind ourselves. I'm I'm so lost. This was a long time ago. Days and days. Okay, if I'm One space away, and I hit enter, nothing happens. Um, if I'm two spaces away, I kick. I can jump and kick. If I'm right next to him, I, I knock him back. And so that's what we're looking at. Okay, so if... Okay, so if we hit enter, that's the jumping. And the difference between both the ninja guy and the gangster guy's x coordinate is not 60 and y equals 0. So if, we're, if there's more than one space or we're right next to him. Uh, so the, the following will not happen only in the case where we are not at the very top because I guess you can't jump when you're at the very top of the screen, the ninja guy, or if there's one space between him and the gangster guy. Uh, okay, so clearing the screen. Now, if our Y coordinates are the same and we are right next to him, oh yes, this is what we did last time. Now I remember. So if we're right next to him and uh, the gangster guy is backed to the very far right of the screen, then we do this. Okay, that's that's what we saw. Um, so the ninja guy's X coordinate, and so the ninja guy moves to the right, he moves up. The gangster guy gets pushed back. We show the ninja guy kicking. We show the gangster guy because we've erased him. And now if blood, <laughs> if BLD string equals yes. So if we ask for the high graphical violence, then we're going to do this thing. And this is the blood right here. So let's just take this. I'm just going to take this. So we're just going to uh, go to new program. We're going to go screen 12 and we want to see this blood because we didn't really see it all that well. Okay. Uh, what do I need? I need I need an XX and a YY. Let's go into screen tool. So let's say XX equals uh, 300 and YY equals 240. Somewhere sort of in the middle of the screen. And let's see what we got here. Function not to find. Whoops. We need a random number generator. Can't forget that. I guess we better randomize the timer here. The blood will be random. So there it is, right in the middle of the screen, if you could possibly see that. Uh, so what this is doing, it's taking a random number between 1 and 10, plus the x coordinate, plus 15. So if the x-coordinate was, say, well, in this case, it's 300. This is actually going to be 315 uh, plus 1. So this is going to be anywhere from 316 to 300. And... Why, why can't I do this math? 
300 plus 15 plus 10 is 325. Uh, and then by is going to be a random number. So we're just drawing a rectangle around a small portion of the the bad guy's head, I suppose, and drawing a bunch of random red dots there. Um, okay. Whoops, let's get back into here. So that is <laughs> the wonderful uh, high graphical violence that we get. But only if we ask for it. Uh, okay, so show the blood. That's what we saw. If the sound is on, play this sound. And then we're going to wait. Uh, then, because we moved him, the ninja guy moved up 30. We're now going to move him down 30 because uh, gravity. So then we move him down. We draw the guy, put the guy. So draw both guys. And... Why didn't we have to clear the screen? Oh, because this is only the case where he's right next up to the right. So if the gangster guy's right to the right of the uh, of the screen, then this is going to happen. See, we clear the screen here. Here we're clearing the screen. And then we're putting the good guy, uh, the ninja guy kick, the regular gangster guy doing our blood, moving the ninja guy back down one because he's going to fall down from the sky, put him at X, Y, And put my confusion here is that I've put the ninja guy's kick, and then without clearing the screen or do any erasing, I'm moving him down and putting him. So I am assuming I should be seeing both guys like the ninja guy appearing in both positions why why don't i see that okay let's move these guys so this is the gangster guy and he's totally moved to the right uh now i'm going to move the ninja guy i could actually like jump up and kick Now I can't, uh, but now I can. What? He jumps up, he gets shown, and then it does clear the screen. I don't get it. What is going on? Okay, I'm going to put a, well, what's happening after this? Oh, man, so many things. Just, okay. Uh, what I want to, you know what we should do? Um, I need to put the, okay, I'm going to locate 225. No, let's do this. Print x equals 
and then x locate 3 1 and print xx equals and let's make these sort of see my problem is I don't understand these x coordinates so actually let's just take this and we'll write all of these things uh, we'll write y and yy so now we'll be able to see the actual coordinates because because I think I'm doing 570 when the gangster guy's position is at 570 but I can't be sure I thought that was right against the screen maybe I figured this out last time I don't know okay let's move the ninja guy down so you can see the ninja guy is at 3210 right now. Okay, I'm going to move the gangster guy so his XX is at 570. Okay, now I'm going to move the ninja guy over and we're going to go right up next to him and now I'm going to kick him. Okay, I still don't understand where clearing the screen happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sleep here. And what this is going to do is it's going to freeze the program until I hit any button. Uh, and then we should see... See this so let's move this guy over okay so uh, the gangster guy is at 570 XX ninja guys right up next to him now I'm gonna hit enter well look at that it was happening um one second yeah okay uh so what was happening was just happening very very fast okay that's great let's uh let's keep my my numbers there my coordinates and where's that sleep i put in oh my goodness It is. Okay, so that's a very specific scenario when he's when the gangster's sec in the second column to the right. Now otherwise uh, if they're on the same coordinates and the ninja guy's right next to the gangster guy, but this time uh, not equal to 600. So it's the same thing as the first, these, this first condition, except this is a special condition when the gangster guy is in the second to right column. And this condition is as long as the gangster guy is not in the rightmost column. And so in reality, this is any other column for the gangster guy except the rightmost two. Uh, okay, this is what's going to happen. And this should be familiar. So we move the ninja guy to the right and up. The gangster guy moves to the right. We show the ninja guy kicking and show the blood again. So this is very similar. Play the sound, wait for a little bit. Uh, then move the ninja guy down because gravity. The gangster guy is moving to the right, didn't he? Whoa, the gangster guy moved to the right. And then he moved to the right again. And then the gangster guy's hit points fell by between one. 
or 6 and 10. Interesting. So he moves over two times. That is not something I, I saw. Okay, let's let's uh let's do this. I I definitely want sound on all the time. And I definitely want high graphical violence all the time. There we go. So these just get commented out, and now I should skip those intro screens. What? No, this was oh, okay. Um Okay, one more time. I'm going to see if this guy actually moves two spaces. Look at the gangster guy, the guy with the chain. Yes. So he he moves to the right once when he gets kicked, and then he moves to the right again uh, when the ninja guy falls down to the ground. Okay, so that's a subtlety that we would not have otherwise have really noticed. All right, so that's this one. Now, this is the special case when they're at the same Y coordinate. Um, the ninja guy is right next to the gangster guy, and the gangster guy is right to the rightmost part of the screen. There's nowhere for the gangster guy to move to the right because he's already at the edge. So we're just going to make the ninja guy move up show him kicking, show the blood, and make the ninja guy fall back down. Curious thing, though, is that now his hit points will be diminished by uh, between 1 and 12 when he's right up to the right of the screen. And the ninja guy uh, and the gangster guy's hit points will uh, be diminished by 6 to 12. 10 when he's got room to move to the right. A uh, very subtle difference there. It's just a little bit stronger to kick the gangster guy in the head when he's got his back up against a wall. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise what? If we're Right, so this is still, if, if we've hit enter, this is still the ninja guy jumping. And this is the, the condition where we're more than one space away. Um, and none of the other conditions have come true. So we're not right up next to him. He's not, uh, the gangster guy's not right up to the edge of the screen or the second column from the right of the screen. Uh, this is simply we're more than one space away from him. Then this is the series of kicks. You could actually move faster by just kicking in the air. Move him up to the right, show him kicking, wait for a little bit, move him down, and put him. And when I mean hit, say him, I mean the ninja guy. So that is the enter button. Oh my word. What? So what is number 48? Uh, 48 is zero. Right, zero was a special thing for the ninja guy. What was zero? Zero was jump on opponent's head must be one space from opponent. Uh, so if we hit zero and we're one space away from the opponent because each cell is 30 so 60 is there's um, there's a space in between us we're at the same y coordinates and he is less the gangster guy has a y coordinate of less than 420. So he's sufficiently above the bottom of the screen. Oh, and there's more ends here. Ay ay ay. Okay, and he's greater than 0. 
So I guess he's not at the very top. He's not at the very bottom. Hmm. Now the bottom, the very bottom would be 450. Uh, no, it wouldn't. It would be 479, 449. No, yeah, it would be fine. So again, this is a second row from the bottom because we're going to jump on his head. Basically, we're jumping on his head. He can't be at the very bottom, and he, we can't be at the very top. Uh, and again, we meaning the ninja guy. We're taking on the persona of the ninja guy. Uh, where did I see... Oh yeah, why greater than zero? Why is the ninja? He can't be at the very top. Okay, so if we jump on his head, um, by pressing zero, we clear the screen, move the ninja guy to the right, move the ninja guy up, kick him, show him kicking, show the blood, play the sound. Like, this is all the same pattern. Move him again to the right and down 30 because gravity and the gangster guy moves to the right. That was a very... Then we clear the screen and put the guys again. That was a very similar situation. Like, what is the difference between kicking him and jumping on his head? Okay, let's play this scenario out. There's one space away, we're at the same Y coordinate, and we're somewhere in the middle of the screen. Okay. So we're one space away, we're at the, oh, come on, oh no. That one's this, that one's this. Same Y coordinate, we are one space away, uh, and now I hit zero. <laughs> okay, that's the difference, the gangster guy moves down. Whereas before, if I hit enter, oh no, that's right, I can't. That's the one case where I can't kick him in the head. So if you're right next to him, you still can't hit zero. If you're more than one away from him, you can't hit zero. So you can kick him in the head or jump in the air with enter, but once at any point, uh, but once you're one space away, enter won't work you have to you have to jump on his head <laughs> okay sure all right now here we go we're getting through this this is uh this is a lot of stuff 46 46 is Dot. Oh, yeah, that's the one I couldn't figure out. Um, this will work when you're at the same X coordinate. And... You're supposed to be able to trip your opponent. This is the tripping your opponent. The same X coordinate and the ninja guy is, again, sufficiently above the bottom of the screen. Y equals Y plus 60. So the ninja guy moves down two cells. Put both guys. XX and YY do not move. And that's what I was seeing. He wasn't moving when I was trying to trip him. So I don't know what tripping him. From from looking at this code, I the ninja guy is going to move down two cells. Um, a sound will play and the gangster guy's hit points will go down without him ever moving. 
And this will happen regardless of the, um, the difference in Y positions. I could just be anywhere. So the ninja guy could be like, you know, six cells above him or below him or what is going on? Okay, well, this is a very, so as long as our X coordinates are the same, um, I'm going to move the gangster guy up. So now I'm going to hit period. The ninja guy is supposedly going to move down two cells. The gangster guy will stay in the same place and his hit points will decrease by four. Which is exactly what happened. <laughs> How come I'm not, uh, I'm not hearing sound anymore? Did I, uh, did I mess up the sound? Okay, whatever. I'm having technical difficulties with the sound. Okay, what a, uh, I'm sorry. That's kind of a silly maneuver, tripping the opponent. How could I possibly trip the opponent when I'm above him? I don't get it. And then if I go... <laughs> I can, like, go down two, and he'll still die if or get hit. If I move him here and I move up like this, I should still move down and his hit points will decrease. Well, I'm sorry. I don't understand that maneuver. That's kind of weird. Just a second. I'm going to check my sound here. I don't know what's happening with my sound. Uh, no, everything looks okay. Huh, okay. That's all right. All right, so that's that's the tripping of the opponent, and I okay. <sighs> what madness! Okay, so he's got a nice visual break here, and this is the other guy's maneuvers. So again, this is this just massive if statement. Only one of the character's input inputs can be registered at a time. Uh, oh my word. These are the movements, Q, W, E, D, C, X, Z, and A. They're all going to do analogous movements that we saw uh, before the ninja guy. So we're not going to, you know, it moves him around. Okay, so otherwise, if uh, 115 S... Oh my goodness. Okay, so if you hit the S button, this is the, the gangster guy's punch. And yeah, you just clear the screen, draw the guy to punching, wait for a little bit. If the ninja guy is right next to him, the ninja guy's hit points gets decreased by between one and seven. And if SO string equals Y, then play this sound. That's good. Yeah, I wonder what's happening to my... Uh, oh, I don't want to... Can I, like... That's supposed to play music. Why can't I hear it? Ah, well, that's okay. Uh, okay, so that's the, the, the gangster guy punching or swiping his chain, whatever. 
if we hit space bar, see I know 32 is space, and the other one was tab, which is 9. Then we're going to play this, these sounds. This is a 50th note. <laughs> Two fiftieth notes followed by an eighth note. It's a very, very quick notes, not even real. Humans can't play those kinds of notes, but computers can. Okay, clear the screen. Put the put the guy, put the guy throwing the chain. Um he had a weight in here. What happens if we don't do that? Or we do that. He had that commented out. Uh, if we're at the same Y coordinates and we're right next to each other, then, okay, if the ninja guy, so the guy who's getting chain whipped, is not to the left edge of the screen, uh, oh no, not at the right to left columns of the screen because he's going to be knocked back 60 pixels okay uh, okay so he gets knocked back 60 pixels uh, otherwise if we're equal to 30 <laughs> so he wants to say look if you're if you're at the second column or to the right you get knocked back two if you're at the second column no, if you're more than the second column, you get knocked back to, you just, you get knocked back to unless you can't get knocked back to, and in that case, you get knocked back as much as you can get knocked back. So he could have done this a bit nicer, but in, instead he said, you know, you know, if you're a third column or more, do minus 60. If you're at this, the second column, do minus 30. And if you're at the leftmost column, well, you're not going to get knocked back. And so there you go. You don't have a x equals x minus something. But again, if you're backed into a corner, your hit points go down by eight instead of seven. Uh, yeah, my brother was the king of um, details, the small details that really, really made it look They're only appreciative when you study the code because um, a difference between seven and eight, you wouldn't have really noticed in gameplay, but you could see what he was trying to do. Uh, the blood for the uh, ninja guy is the same sort of thing. Just a different box. Okay, then we uh, and that's that big if statement. That's dealing with all input. And now, the last thing he needs to do is check be to see if you're on top of each other. Because um, you can't be. And so what happens if xx equals x and yy equals y, and x is not equal to 0, then x equals x minus 30. So basically, once the two characters get onto the same cell, the ninja guy is ousted from the cell because I guess he's the weaker character and he gets pushed one to the left. Uh, if they are at the same cell, and I guess the character is already at the, the ninja guy is already at zero and XX equals XX plus 30. So normally this is going to happen. The ninja guy will be ousted to the left, but in the case that they're already at the very leftmost edge of the screen, the gangster guy is going to move to the right. And he could have done this in an elf, else if but really you can see that when this is equal um, once you subtract 30 from x x will no longer be equal to x and therefore this condition will always be false so even though he doesn't have an else if here only one of these is going to be true uh, so let's we i mean we saw the ninja guy
Uh, okay, let's bring him down over here and this gangster guy. It's weird because the controls for the gangster guy are on the left hand <laughs> and the controls for the ninja guy are the right hand. It's backwards. Okay, so we're going to go on top of him. And see, that's how we get the automatic pushing him back. I could push him. And we didn't have any um, scenario in there uh, to push him back. But it's simply the fact that this is, we would be on the same cell. And so we move the ninja guy back one until... We're at the edge of the screen, and now the gangster guy moves to the right. So I'm going to move the gangster guy down. And now if I move him up, he should go to the right. The ninja guy down, he goes to the left. So that's perfect. Okay. And let's see what else we got. Uh, loop until one of them has less than one hit point. Good. Clear the screen. If so, if the huh, if the gangster guy is greater than six hundred or less than zero. What? X being greater than 600 means the gangster guy is like really to the, the, the rightmost edge of the screen. Oh, wait a second. He can't be. <sighs> what is going on? What? So this is an or. Any one of these is true. So... If the gangster guy is to the right of the screen, uh, to the right, on the rightmost edge of the screen, or the gangster guy is above the top of the screen, which is not possible, or the gangster guy is on the bottom row, or the gangster guy's hit points is less than one. Then put the guy one punch. Otherwise, put the guy two. Like, this is clearly show the guy who won. And if it's the ninja guy, show him punching. Uh, otherwise... I don't understand why this why why all this you can't even you can't even do this that's not even a thing you can do you can't be above the 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 top of the screen xx is greater than 600 was I even able to go past 600 no see you can see xx uh, is 600. So I can't even get to be bigger than 600. Uh, so that's not possible. So let's let's go down here. <laughs> so this is totally impossible and this is totally impossible. Um, if YY is greater than 420. So if YY, that's his gangster guy's Y coordinate. Uh, greater than 420. See, that's, you can't, you can't go more than 420. That's never going to happen. Go down to the bottom. So that's not even going to happen. I wonder what he was thinking. This is really the only thing that's allowed to happen. Uh, okay, interesting. And then change to color 8, which is a gray color. 
print this message change back to color 15 even though you don't aren't printing anything else and uh, loop until you hit slash that is a very interesting game let's let's open it back up there are other combat files in here I wonder if this was a like BAK extension suggests to me that it's a backup of some sort and so I think I don't know if this was like the pristine version and he decided to back it up or this was a starting point for some other thing I guess we'll find out as the days go on but uh, for now, that's combat. And that was a very interesting uh, look at this game. I still don't understand the trip. I mean, it worked, but I had to actually look at the code to figure out how it worked. And I still don't get the logistics of that move. The gangster guy is definitely... Um, he's got weirder controls because you're controlling him with the 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 A W D and X keys, uh, but his moves are quite a bit simpler. <laughs> okay, well that was combat. Uh, thanks for very much for joining me in this adventure in old code. Have a nice day, and uh, well, we'll see you next time. Boom. I tripped him to death. <laughs> uh...